but I'm the sellout for being the one that refuses to believe unsubstantiated claims. Ah, man, we live in a weird world. This is coming to us from NBC News. Ex-NFL player accused of staging hate crime, painting MAGA and swastikas on walls of bakery. Police in Georgia arrested Edon Lewis Kaufman for allegedly staging the crime to make an insurance claim and sell off the undamaged appliances. Ah, golly. Why? Just, you know what? I'm sorry. They just said why. It's for the money. It's for the insurance claims. But did you really have to toss that whole MAGA and swastikas in on it? I mean, it's because it's because there's like I I I gotta believe that this guy is of that poisoned mentality that oh everything that Trump does is the most if 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 it got Trump name on it they're just gonna buy it that it's the most racist thing ever and it's like dude dude this is written by Doha Madani. A former NFL player allegedly created a fake hate crime at his Georgia businesses, in which he claimed burglars spray-painted racial slurs, swastikas, and MAGA at his bakery. Edon Lewis Kaufman, 31, was arrested Thursday on charges of filing a false report of a crime, insurance fraud, and concealing a license plate after he told police a burglar was responsible for spray-painting racist language and imagery on the walls of his bakery, according to Gwinnett County Police. This is uh, Mr. Kaufman right here. Wow. Just what happened to your hairline, my guy? Woo, that's crazy. But yeah, yeah, dude, you're a piece of shit. Why are you... <laughs> like, it's one thing to try to commit insurance fraud. It's another thing to do the whole hate hoax situation. Like, look, eh. Like, I've watched, uh, what was it? What movie was that? Goodfellas? When they burnt down the, um... When they burnt down the bar? Or in The Sopranos, when... They took my man to the cleaners and <laughs> he ended up uh, having to leave his wife and getting a divorce and everything else like that. I mean, it's one thing. And I'm not saying that that's good by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that's enough, right? You, do you really want to add the added layer of, oh, not only were there thieves and robbers, but they this was racially charged as well. You want to add more kerosene onto that fire? Oh, clearly he does. It appears as though Edwan conjured a premeditated plan to damage his own property, attempt to make it appear as a hate crime, file a claim with his insurance company, and sell off the undamaged appliances and electronics, police said, which is enough crime on its own. But he's like, oh, no, we got to definitely throw this one on Trump. Like, bruh. Photos taken by the police scene show spray-painted words and images, including the N-word, a swastika, and MAGA, an abbreviated version of President Donald Trump's campaign slogan, Make America Great Again. Police said that they were called for a burglary report at Kaufman's business. Create and Bake Restaurant in Kaufman's Creamery in Atlanta, suburb of Lawrenceville, on Wednesday night. The 911 caller told police that someone was driving a black Chevrolet Silverado with no license plate. When officers arrived at the shopping center, they stopped the truck matching description and saw Kaufman driving the Silverado. It appeared that Kaufman had several televisions in the back of the truck with mounted brackets on the back with damaged drywall attached. Wow, bruh. Wow. <laughs> like, you ripped it out yourself, put it in your car. Like, you couldn't even hire somebody to, to do this? Uh, he's clearly on, like, hard financial times. I mean, without a doubt, but you ain't have a cousin that owed you a favor or anything else like that. Like, you ain't have peoples that could have been like, yeah, I bet I'll, I'll do this for you so, you know, you could at least stay clean in it. Oh, my goodness. Officers saw the back door of the bakery had yellow pry marks and saw the graffiti on the walls was still wet from the paint. Several booth cushions were sliced open, the Gwinnett County Police said. They also found broken mirrors, cut wires, and a damaged video surveillance system. Kaufman once told police that he saw the damage earlier in the day and called his insurance company, but not police. Weird. But investigators found the incident occurred much later than the former NFL player alleged. <clears throat> it's like, it, it, wow. Wow, what is see? This is the this is this is the education system just failing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I was like, he's what thirty one, so I don't know. Like he, he's like he's a part of that generation 
where you know the, they wanted to start breaking down the schools for charter schools so yeah he definitely had got a subpar education to sit there and just uh man a search warrant on kaufman silverado found a yellow crowbar and cans of black spray paint in the truck Kaufman never played in the regular se- in a in a regular season game with NFL, but was signed on eight different teams, according to NBC affiliate WXIA. He also played nine games in du- in 2011 for the Canadian League's fo- for Canadian Football League's Toronto Argonauts. It is unclear whether Kaufman, who was released on bond, has an attorney. That's uh it for the uh, for NBC's coverage of it. Thank you, Dana. What? (laughs) (laughs) Yo, so he wasn't because it's not like the so they calling him an NFL player. That's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Because that's like, you know, going to the being in the G League or something like that and say, yeah, I play in the NBA. I, technically yeah but do you like he never played a regular season game they don't make it very clear if that's because of injury or you know i mean he clearly was talented he like he showed he was good enough in um i guess streets to be able to like you know uh get on a practice squad or two or nine but as far as like in-game play my man never like really made it so he wasn't making those big NFL bucks, like at all, like he probably, he may, he clearly made like probably like a couple hundred thousand dollars, but as we know, eh, more money, like that's not really enough to walk right off into the sunset on. Uh, he t- probably took that money, likely. So this is all speculatory. He likely took the money, invested in a couple of businesses, but the businesses went south, and so he was like, I, right, I'm, I'm a Joe Pesci and Ray Liotta and Goodfellas, this collect the insurance money and then you know maybe do something else which honestly i mean at seeing how i am intimately equated with the outlaw lifestyle it doesn't sound like a terrible plan but let's be real here plan and execution are two different things and this is just it, it's sad like it's sadder than anything else because it's just wasted potential that's what a lot of things uh, boil down to wasted potential and someone without the capacity to, you know, who wants to do high crime, but doesn't particularly have the capacity to do high crime. And it's infuriating that he would look again. He would look when he already got the insurance fraud thing popping off. He would look to also try to make it a um, make it a race thing. I mean, seriously, bro. Like, like, what were you trying to do? Like, you wanted to get on, wanted to get on TV a little bit, and J- Jesse Smollett. That uh, this is embarrassing to an extent. And even though I'm just like, hey, like, I, I don't know if he's a descendant or not. I don't know if he's fully American or what. And I try to create that. Um, I try to create that di- that distance. It's embarrassing just as a human being on a human level. Not only the the adding the hate crime part to it but the him being so just lackadaisical in his uh commission of a crime golly that's sad it really is but there's a lot of people who say and this is actually run on all of the major networks the cb cbs had it, ran it with it uh fox ran with it nbc ran with it i'm pretty sure AB, like they're all doing write-ups on this so for those saying that oh no they, like the, the mainstream won't talk about this one mainstream picked this one up they definitely have and it's good and it's good to see because i don't like the implication that it creates you know like i don't like that it makes this uh look like oh my goodness well just it's just another black person with another crime all black people are now you know like like this nutty bastard and it's like wait no 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 but i am glad that you know accountability is being held because that's the most important thing is that people are held accountable for their actions and i don't give a damn what your color is white brown blue black purple it doesn't matter what matters is that you did something wrong and this guy (laughs) Good luck. Best of luck there, champ. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, yeah, go ahead. Do that too. I ain't scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. You want to get videos like this every single day. Share it because sharing is caring in YouTube. And bitch, you don't like me like that. And speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? I mean, <laughs> Edwin here. I mean, it's not Edwin. It's Edon. Edon? 
Iran, Iran, I'm not sure, but bruh, ugh, you're not a victim, you're not a victim, until the next one.